Hello, my name is Walter Schnell and I'm going to show you a validator for DocuWare. Now, what is a validator for DocuWare? It's a concept and two software hooks that DocuWare made for software companies to make better checks on the data entry masks that you have in DocuWare. The idea for the checks is limited, but we can go further than what DocuWare has planned for us. Let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, we are looking at a DocuWare system, and today we will be using two tabs in the browser, one for the DocuWare client and one for a form, a DocuWare form that we will be using just looking at it for a short glimpse. Now, in the client, there are two places where a validator can be built in into the system to make better checks on what the user entered or what intelligent indexing has produced. The first place is when you store from the tray to an archive. So when you go there, See the data entry mask, whatever data entry mask you have. And the moment you would store, the validator would come in and check the entries in the mask. The second place is when you are already in an archive and we are now looking into an archive, doing a search, and just go and edit index entries of an existing document. Now when I store now, or save, it will say it's validating the index entries. It says the index entries have been updated, and we and it jumps back to the results list. This is what happens when there is no error. When we go back in and change things, for example, delete the version and save again, it will say there is a failure Please correct this. You cannot go further before you have corrected this. And you can have a lot of different rules that DocuWare doesn't support by itself, but that can be built in now that help you have a system that is clean. So when later the data is taken and it goes through a workflow, if it goes to some kind of case processing, you will have better data that the system works with. And that means your users make decisions based on the data they have and they make better decisions or they can even make decisions because otherwise with bad data they can't. Or the system makes decisions and it can just have a hiccup if a field is not filled or it doesn't have the proper value or values that are um, possible entries. There are situations where you have complex um, rules for a field. For example, when you have an, a vehicle in identification number, this has um, a checksum in itself. And this can be computed and the system can say this field does have a valid vehicle identification number in it or not. Okay, let's go and delete some things and see what happens further on. If I go here, okay, now you get two error messages from the system. By the way, these uh, messages are um, can be made in different languages and the system will switch to the language of what's um, configured for the user. You get precise error messages. It really says which 
field it is and what's wrong with the entry. Um, this system is based in the cloud like the system that we are looking at here. It's also on Azure, just like DocuWare. And it is configurable by the administrator. We will see that in a short time. Okay, let's just make some space here for a configuration file that I have prepared. And even a little more space like this. Okay. What you see here is a configuration file for the validator. For those who are used to it, this is XML. Whatever is in green, you don't need to take care for. And here is the specification for one archive. So in this specification file, you can specify rules for multiple archives. So for all archives that you have as a customer, or for all archives of your customers when you are the consultant. And for this archive, we have uh, a specification for each, for the fields that you want to validate. And there you have field, field names and um, what is it called? Attributes. And this says, this field is mandatory. And also it says this is part of a duplicate condition. For example, here we have three fields that together make a duplicate. So if the type of document and the number of the document and the date of the document all are the same, then uh, you are looking at the, du at the duplicate and you can say, I want to prevent prevent entry of a duplicate into the system. So this is here. We can have multiple checks. As you can see here, we support a lot of attributes here. For example, range check for integer values or a certain date has to be later than another date or this date has to be in the future clearly for a due date. Usually when you check it, it has to be in the future. A version can be checked against a regular expression. This is a special field. Maybe you need a professional to help you with this. This is very helpful when you use it. Okay. We support keyword fields, document keyword fields. We support tables. And for tables, I just made a note here. Table columns work like fields. So the specification here for the, for the table columns are very much the same as for ordinary field entries. You might also want to check if the net amount plus the tax amount equals the total amount. Very useful check after intelligent indexing. Maybe the scanning is not good enough or you have, sometimes you have an error, then you are very happy if you have this check in, built into the system. Now this is what DocuWare has planned for us, checking and giving you an answer. What can be done extra is modify fields. For example, you have a field that, that has points or commas or spaces in it from scanning and you want to eliminate these. This can be done. Um, the validator is also something like a corrector and it can write back data into the system during the validation and correction process. There we can, it can also fill additional fields or split fields up and put them into two fields or get some extra information from a database and put it into other fields. 
You could even put a stamp on the document during the validation process, for example, saying this thing has been validated. Okay, now that you have seen how the field checks are configured, let's look at how DocuWare enables us to make use of the validator, how to configure it inside the DocuWare system. This is a process of five minutes or so, and I can show it very shortly. Let's make this small, let's make this bigger again. We, you just go into DocuWare configuration. Okay, you get, go to web services. There might be only one in your case. And in this case, we are looking at the REST service that I have made. If you configure this one, then you see you have an internet address. This is where the validator is sitting. You have an authentication, so only you can use this validator for you, and you can test the connection. And just hit the button, and it will say the web service is available for you. This is the first place. There is a second place where you have to configure something. You go to your archive, your individual archive, and there you configure it per each dialog. So we go to an archive, we go to a dialog, and this is, in my, in my case, um, a dialog that, that is on index data change. So you go to result list, and then not to the result list itself, but to the index dialog of the result list. And DocuWare makes us scroll down and ask for more options. And then we are there. Yeah, we are still looking at the index data entries mask. And there you choose one of the web services that you have installed under web services. And that's about it. You can test the validation here again. Of course, if you install, you will do that. It again says, the service is available. Okay, so this is how you configure it and that's all you need to do. Now here we have a system that will help you um, check value ranges, date ranges, date conditions, regular expressions, and you can do that per subtype. So you have, usually you have a document type. And depending on the document type, fields might be mandatory or not. DocuWare doesn't give that to you. The validator enables you to make de mandatory fields depending on a document type. Regular expressions depending on the document type, etc. Then we have a class of checks that have a special check sums in itself, for example, bank numbers, um, article numbering system numbers, value added tax numbers, so that these checks can be built and used inside the validator and they are pre-built. You can use keyword fields, you can use tables, you can use something like net plus tax must be total. You can check fields against the database. And you can also say, okay, in this moment, I want to export a single record to say a CSV or another kind of a record for a third party system. You can do that as well. Well, and now let's jump to another little gem that, um, do you say gem or gem? Anyway, something that DocuWare gives us, and this is DocuWare Forms. This the, gives you a great value with very little administration or configuration work. So if you have not yet used it, go take a look at it. It's, it's great, very simple, and um, you can get a lot of work done this way.
it's for external users. So for users that don't have a GoQware license in the first place. So for data collection, for example. And here uh, we have a very primitive test form. It's in German, but you should be able to interpret it. There is nothing special about it. And how do I check a validation very fast? I just leave it empty and look what happens. And nice enough, DocuWare gives us an answer in red. The same text that would appear uh, in your DocuWare client, the same text you get here in red, and it uh, says this one field is, is empty and this one field does not appear inside the form. So this is for the design time. When you have uh, left out a field that is missing and you must uh, design it into your form before you will validate properly. So you have both checking at design time if you have all fields plus the field checking for um, just like in the dialogues. Okay, that was a very short glimpse on the forms. Now, what do we have here? If you're in the beginning phase of a project with a customer, then this is like a nice to have feature. And it looks like a nice to have feature. It will help you get away from the firefighting mode that you usually have when you have bad data. You get away from this and you get, you get a system that just has better data and it will prevent errors during the processing time. When you have a growing number of, of documents and more and more and get overwhelmed, then the time that you don't need for corrections will help you a lot and you will depend on the validator more and more. So if this is interesting material, if you're interested in working with this, please get into contact with me. The address is down here. Please leave your comments. Help me make the system even better. And I'm looking forward to get feedback from you, comments from you. Goodbye and stay healthy.